It's a story of perseverance and commitment, something a lot of us need to hear right now, right? A local baseball coach who played at Rancho Bernardo High and went on to win a College World Series wants to make sure young athletes and their parents know that hard work and patience will eventually pay off. Coach Bobby Brown is here to tell us about this new book, Overcoming the Bench. How you doing, Coach Bobby? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. You know, my kids are well aware of how great of a coach you are. You're an instructor at Frozen Ropes here in San Diego. They call you Coach Bobby, and they look up to you because you're an accomplished athlete. So tell us, our, tell our viewers a little bit about your background here and then why you decided to write this book. Yeah, so I grew up here in San Diego, and I played baseball specifically at Rancho Bernardo High School, which Rancho Bernardo High School, the baseball program, is historically one of the better programs, not only in San Diego, one of the better programs in the nation and after that i did spend a lot of time uh, going over to the university of arizona and i played baseball there for five years and basically my journey started uh, over at arizona and i started chronicling some of my events that took place over at the school so basically my book is a story of commitment and perseverance in a time when many student athletes are transferring from school to school I'm someone who did not transfer, and instead I continued to work hard year after year, which eventually paid off when my team won the 2012 College World Series. So again, I played five years in college, and most of it was sitting on the bench. So uh, basically my story is how I overcame the bench, and I hope to inspire young athletes when doing so. And my book also goes into my minor league experience. I played for the Kansas City Royals. Um, I talk about how it, or what it takes to play at a high level, and I uh, even have some swing mechanical fundamentals for all the kids. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, so you waited five years, you got your shot, and then you guys won the World Series. I mean, look, yeah. I, riding the bench is tough. I've had to do it for a few years when playing sports. It can be uh, mentally draining on our athletes. So how did you overcome that? Yeah, uh, just a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, um, you know, I just had to stay positive and I had to wait for my opportunities and my opportunities did come. Um, it just took a little bit longer than I expected it to. Though. Sure, sure. Um, you're also with this book looking to educate parents and coaches on the mental side of the game. That is so important, not only in baseball, but in all, in all sports, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the mental part of the game is probably even bigger than the, the physical side of the game. So it's important that you always have a, a positive mindset when you're playing. It's, it's extremely important. So look, I know you were drafted by the Kansas City Royals. We saw some of those pictures there. How awesome is that? Look, I, I know you spent a lot of time in the minor leagues as well. And that's really something that's not widely written about. Uh, you talk about it in the book. What was that experience like? Yeah, you know, I was very fortunate to get that experience. And I think that stemmed from me doing really well in my last year in 2012. And, you know, it's it, it's an amazing experience because you're so close to making it to the big leagues. You're just a few levels below it. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a very positive experience, and I'm very fortunate that it happened. Look, uh, you're still young. I've been coaching Little League probably longer than you have, and it's taught me a lot about mentoring and educating players about not just l life, but baseball and, and other th things that they're going to encounter. I mean, what has coaching taught you? Yeah, you know, uh, coaching has really taught me a lot more patience. So I had a lot of patience in college, but uh, coaching has taught me a lot of patience with learning how to, to teach a kid how to hit a ball, how to throw the ball, how to field the ball. Obviously, those are all things that I knew how to do, but from a coaching perspective, you got to be able to articulate it to a kid in an effective way that'll make sense to him. And so I kind of had to learn how to give a really good communicator when it came to coaching. Sure, sure. Uh, these YouTube uh, videos that you have show kids how to do a lot of drills and parents as well. Um, so tell us where people can find your YouTube channel and then tell us, most importantly, where people can get your book. Yeah, absolutely. So I started a uh, YouTube baseball training channel called Bobby Brown Baseball. And in there, I have a lot of great drills for hitting, fielding, and throwing. And I'd like to think as my book as an extension, or uh, I'd like to think of a YouTube channel as an extension of my book. Sure. And as far as getting my book, people can get it anywhere that books are sold online, uh, including Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And I think it's $9.99, so it's a great read for that yeah. price. You got your Frozen Ropes hat on there. Coach Bobby Brown, really appreciate your time here this morning, and uh, I'll probably be seeing you on the field here in the next day or two. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Eric. Thanks for coming on the show. Have a great day. Stella?